Well, isn't that just the perfect end to a perfect day? Nice big green like spike on Bitcoin. 9,640, it peaked, and I was in at 8,880. Boosh. Well, guys, I'm back to familiar surroundings. Um, last night we spent the evening with Graham and Jane from Woolly Cod Wanderers. And if you've noticed, I got a bath and a shave. Hmm. So, yeah, back at Mothers and Fathers and um, the glow plug on the diesel heater. It's not good. Not good at all. I had to, first of all, manufacture a box spanner to get it out. And then next I've gone and snapped the cables off. So I'm going to try and re-solder them back on. Touch wood, no promises. And uh, I think the problem was the um, gauze, the aerosol gauze around the glow plug. I think that was knackered. Um, I damaged it quite a bit when I pulled it out, but I had a spare one, so I've put that in. But it was absolutely full and chock a block with soot. So I'm hoping the glow plug still works, and it was just a case of uh, sorting the uh, the gauze. Anyway, we'll see. Let's see if this uh, soldering's a success. Well, you can't win them all. The glow plug is goosed. Well, guys, made a mess this morning. Um, I'm going to try and make a start on getting the water tanks. Not fitted, but a space made for it. And I'm going to have to change Kaylin's bed slightly. I need a little bit more height. So that's what I'm going to be on with today. What are you doing, Mummy? I'm just about to edit a video. Holy Cod Wanderers Van Tour. Awesome. That should already be out. Yep, yep. So if you've not seen it, go back and check that out. And while you're there, give them a, a like and a subscribe. Um, we've had a smashing weekend with them this weekend, haven't we? Yeah. Was it the weekend? It, well, it wasn't the weekend. We had a, a night, night there, didn't we? Yeah, lovely day out with my dad. Yeah, Rachel and the girls. Yeah, bless him. He, he, he bought us all lunch. <laughs> and ice cream. And ice cream, <laughs> which was really appreciated. Um, so, yeah, I suppose I'd better get back to this. <sighs> and of course, as with the van, when we started, I'm working with the... Uh, with a limited amount of timber so that's going to be fun please tell me guys i'm not the only one that thinks well, that's a really good idea and then wish you'd never started yeah. <laughs> so i've got the bed frame pulled out and uh, I'm watching those ones now. now i'm trying to rebuild it but the only materials that i've got to work with are what was there already? A sheet of ply board, um, six mil ply board, those bits of deck and board. My dad's fence for his homemade circular saw. I need some of that. And that's about it. So I'm going to have to uh, rip some of that in half. Approximately 2b1. Of course, where do you put all the stuff? <laughs> so that's got Kaylin's bed in there, clothes, shoes, my fishing gear. Um, oh my god. Hi, Kaylin. How you doing with that? I'm trying to do 27 things at once, sweetheart. Why does it go like this? 
Hmm. Right, we'll see if this is any better. Note to self, wear safety goggles. So, I decided that while I was on this project I would clean the uh, cupboard out down there, the gas cupboard, with a cup of coffee. I had a cup of coffee rested on there. I was trying to cut that piece of wood so as that flat would drop down and that one would lift up. And um, that cut down, that dropped down like so. Two cups down there, screws, nails. Milk, coffee. So yeah, I've just uh, just cleaned my cupboard out with a cup of coffee. Right guys, so yesterday I managed to get the adjustments made on Kaylin's bed which has made it a lot lighter as well, that's just um, decking timber or decking boards The screws at the back aren't a per uh, permanent fixture, it was just to get us away with yeah, they'll get sorted out when they get sorted so, uh, although we seem to have taken up more space from back here in the van, it look, actually looks to be more room. Anyway, uh, so that one lifts up and that one just slides out and gives me easy access in there. So the idea is, water tank's going down there, Kaylin's clothes drawers, shoes, and hopefully we'll be able to organise the space a little bit better so we've got more room. Other jobs to do, the cooker needs to go, and the fridge cupboard needs sorting. I've got ideas for that. Well guys, it's only been a week and uh, if you want to know how the last fishing session went <clears throat> I got one fish more than flat uh, one I got one fish more than Scott one flatty more than Scott and uh, made a fatal mistake that stinks well guys the fridge we keep getting condensation building up in there and it gathers up right at the bottom of uh, of the uh, yeah it gathers right at the bottom of the fridge so what I've just done is I've pinched an old cage front from a, a budgie cage, finch cage, chopped it down to fit and that just drops in there nicely and that's going to keep the food up out of the way so it's not sitting in fridge juice. Yeah. That's like, fridge juice. <laughs> yeah, fridge juice. It, it's almost as bad as Kirsty's toe fluff. Why? Not out of bed yet, love. I don't have toe fluff. You're staying in bed? Yes, I'm working. So, Kaylin's bed's all finished now. That's it during the day. And then her bedding's just rolled up, so we just roll it out on a night. Like so. 
and it's actually made her she's got a bigger bed so we'll probably last a bit longer in here i just got him to cut that corner off like that because it it was a bit of a hazard getting in and out of the van but we've still got plenty of room to get in and out and uh plenty of storage again now oh you see that so once We've got all the stuff, pump, tap, all that sort of stuff. We'll get the water tank put in, probably take one of them out, keep another one maybe, and just have a little section there for shoes. And it just makes it a lot better. Her clothes fit in nice and snug down there. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. I did love it when we first, first did the build. We had like an L-shaped seating area and it was one of them where the slats pulled out to make it into the bed and then pushed back on a night and I loved it like that but this gives us the extra storage space so it is much better so yeah very happy with my husband's work <laughs> about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know